divers and swimmers in Coronado may notice two new buoys beside them in the water. Okay, don't be alarmed, but they're part of a new shark detection program that can let lifeguards know if a tagged shark is close to shore. But as CBS State's Evan Arani tells us, it may also help researchers understand how those sharks behave. Shark attacks are incredibly rare here in San Diego, despite the fact that those sharks can live amongst the surfers and swimmers out in the water. Now, CSU Long Beach, alongside the Coronado lifeguards, are teaming up with shark detection buoys off the coast that can spot the migratory patterns of those sharks and instantly alert lifeguards if a shark is nearby. So what we wanted to know was how long are these sharks spending their time by these beaches? What are they doing while they're there? How long are they going to be there? And what all the cities want to know is when are they going to leave? That's Dr. Chris Lowe, the director of the Shark Lab at Cal State Long Beach, one of the largest labs on the West Coast to monitor sharks using acoustic telemetry. And while they've been tracking sharks for a while, that data used to take up to a month to get to lifeguards. Lifeguards are going, that's too slow. We need to know if there's a shark off our beach today. So we work with the manufacturer to develop these buoys, which then give real-time data. So instead of waiting for a diver to pick it up, now anytime a tagged shark is within 300 yards of one of those buoys, it will send them a text alert telling them what shark was just detected, how long has it been there, and where has that shark been over the last few months. And while those pings can let lifeguards know if there's a shark nearby, Coronado lifeguard captain Sean Carey says it's not necessarily a reason for his team to panic. If we were going to take action, like remove people from the water or notify the public anytime that there was uh, a shark detection, we would literally be doing that all day if there were sharks aggregating here. That's because while the new data shows sharks can linger around busy beaches, it's usually juvenile sharks using the warm, shallow water as a nursery with plenty of stingrays to feed on and largely unconcerned with humans. And basically what we're learning is for many of these juvenile white sharks, they ignore people. So they're in and amongst them every single day. The technology tells us when the sharks are there. The acoustic telemetry tells us when they're there and how long they're there. But the drones tell us how close they get to people and how they react around people. And what we're learning from that is they don't care. Humans are just flotsam. The buoys can then have a dual purpose, monitoring migration patterns like traveling south during the winter, but they can also alert lifeguards if there is a large shark that may be posing a threat. If we do get a detection of a shark, let's say that's of significant size, obviously we're going to be more vigilant. Uh, depending on the situation, if there's a lot of people in the water, we may put a jet ski in the water to, to try to get eyes on the shark so that we can track kind of what it's doing and just you know, be out there as a resource for the public. The Shark Lab is also studying the economic impacts of beach closures. For instance, how much money is lost in a community that closes the beach versus keeping it open. 10 years ago, if somebody saw a white shark off the beach, they closed the beach. And now we're learning, do you really need to do that? So, so this new data is actually changing the way things are done because we're learning more about the behavior of these animals. And in that, along with some of our other projects, are showing that many of these animals really aren't posing a threat to the public. The buoys off the coast of Coronado can only detect sharks that are already tagged, and CSU Long Beach is constantly adding to that system by tagging more and more sharks. They hope that the data that it provides helps people understand how sharks live amongst us, their migratory patterns, and hopefully keeps people safe and comfortable as they head out into the water.